Hello guys and welcome. So in this video I wanted to answer the question, who is Sylvanas Windrunner? This video is aimed at people who know nothing about Sylvanas Windrunner and have always been curious. Hopefully it will serve as a good starter guide for you. And with the Who Is series, I'm going to link as many useful resources in the description box below, including to the Wikipedia page, to this trailer, to my What Is video of World of Warcraft, and also my Who Is video of Arthas Menafil, because he is very heavily um, in line with the Sylvanas story. But before we continue, a quick message from past Mifri. Thank you for watching the video so far. Remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and ring the bell to help with the YouTube algorithm. Now, back to the video. So, in the background of the video, I'm showing the cinematic trailer for Shadowlands. As you can see, Sylvanas is key to it. And she's also one of the main antagonists for the whole expansion uh, coming to World of Warcraft. So Sylvanas Rindrunner is a fictional character who appears in the Warcraft series of video games by Blizzard Entertainment. Originally introduced in Warcraft 3 Reign of Chaos, she received a romantic redesign in World of Warcraft Legion to her current appearance, much more in line with her in-universe lore depictions. Once a high elf ranger general of Silvermoon, Sylvanas was murdered by Arthur's Menafil when she led a doomed resistance against his invasion. Now, the reason why Arthas Menafil was trying to go to Silvermoon because he was trying to actually access the Sunwell. But um, more of that if you decide to read more into Arthas. Um, in one climactic battle that left the capital city of Silvermoon in ruins, he managed to finally beat the Elven General, ripping her soul out and transforming her into a Banshee. The newest agent of the Lich King was empowered by the hatred of the living, and an everlasting desire to rule over her new brethren. In the Frozen Throne, Sylvanas was able to regain her free will and body and found the forsaken, founded the Forsaken Faction of Undead while slaying, sorry, styling herself <laughs> as a Banshee Queen and Dark Lady. With her new undead forces vowing to take revenge on the Lich King, they set out to wage war against the Scourge. So, um... Basically, she was trying to originally, she was just a Ranger General defending the, the High Elves, and she ended up becoming the Banshee Queen because of the um, what Arthas Menafil was trying to achieve at the time. Now, fast forward a long time, we're at this moment, at the end of the uh, BFA expansion, or right at the, the prelude to the Shadowlands expansion. So Sylvanas has gone to the Lich King, who is actually now Bulvar. So at the end of the Wrath of the Lich King expansion, uh, Arthas Menafil was defeated and Bulvar took his place as the Lich King. But it seems basically that Bulvar is much weaker than Arthas was as the Lich King. But not only that, uh, there is a lot of speculation that Sylvanas is actually getting a lot of her power from one of the old gods in the game. But um, I won't really get into that. Uh, Belilar News made a really great video talking about that, so I will try and make sure I link that in the description box as well. So, uh, but it's all speculation, who knows? And um, of course, with this Who Is series, I just want to introduce this character. I can't go into all of her lore because simply there's too much. But um, I thought it was a very special trailer, especially for Sylvanas, and I wanted to feature this in this video because at this moment, she takes off the Helm of Domination from the Lich King. So even if it's not Arthas, it's still a significant thing for her to do. And there is speculation just in this moment is that does she want to become the Lich Queen? Does she want to control the Scourge? But the problem is that if you put on the Helm of Domination, then the Lich King will take over you. So um, even Bulvar warns her at this point that you are not ready for the amount of um, power that this helmet will give you. So, but that is not her intention whatsoever. Now, before this point, she actually as well um, made a very big statement to the Horde because she was leader of the Horde for a while, but she actually uh, killed one of the leaders of the Horde, uh, which is at the end of BFA. But I won't go into that side of things. Maybe I'll do it in a, in a separate video. So at this moment, she tears the Helm of Domination, revealing the a link to the Shadowlands. The Shadowlands is the afterlife of Azeroth, where 
basically when all beings die in Azeroth, they go to the Shadowlands. But what this means is, for the future of the game, is that we'll potentially be able to revisit all of these uh, characters that we've defeated in the past, including Office Menafil. So we'll, we'll see if that is the case. So um, there is, like I said, guys, there is a lot of lore. There's a lot of story behind Sylvanas. Um, but in the Warcraft universe, she is a very, very significant character, which is why I had to make her video exactly after making the one about Arthas Menafil. Simple as that. So let me know, guys, in the comments down below, what do you th think of Sylvanas, the actions she's taken against the Horde? Um, like, has she, like, was it her intention to unite all of Azeroth? Um, or is she just so controlled by this old god and she's filled with hatred and so on? Like, is her ambition selfish? Like, I find this story of Sylvanas fascinating. I really do. Like, she is one of the most significant game characters I've ever seen. Um, so, and that is quite a big statement considering I've seen thousands of game characters. But I hold Sylvanas in very, very high regard, with Arthas being my number one um, favorite game character of all time. So, um, Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. You can watch around the video over there. You can watch the latest upload down there. Or you can click down here to subscribe. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.